Good morning guys and welcome back to another Behind the Business vlog. So today's a very exciting day and I'm so honored to be able to bring you along with this process because what I'm actually doing is I've hired a filming studio for the day and I'm going to be batch creating some of my content. So as you may know, I filmed my content just in my house for the past couple of years, but I'm really looking to up level my channel this year to create a lot more content and to be even more valuable to you guys and so I thought oh, why not get a filming studio so I'm going to try the mission today is to film 10 videos I'm having my makeup done in about half an hour and then I'll do my hair which obviously I have a new haircut loving it and then we're going to go film I wanted to also just show you the entire process that I go through and what I've done to prepare for today because a lot of you have full-time jobs or you are side hustling and I get so many questions about how would I actually create content if I wanted to stay consistent on YouTube? And the answer is simply batch create. You know, if you could choose one Saturday and film like six or seven videos, that could give you two months worth of content. And so I want to show you exactly what I've done to prepare all the videos, the ideas, the scripts, and then I'll show you exactly how I manage my energy throughout the day so I can just plow through them and just create as many videos as possible. So. I'm gonna eat some breakfast now, and then I'm getting my makeup done, as I just said, and I'll do my hair, and anyway, it's gonna be a really exciting day, and I really hope that you enjoy it, but if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe, and if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you are an entrepreneur, I have just created a new free training, which is all about living your best entrepreneurial life, how not to get stuck, how not to, you know, how to avoid burnout and how to achieve success. That is a free audio training that you can download in the description below. absolute golden goddess. Now I'm just putting together all of my outfits. So I already did slightly plan these beforehand, but because I'm filming 10 different videos, I've just chosen 10 different tops out. Um, and I'll show you how I've actually planned that out. And then I am taking some skirts because we're in such a beautiful space. I thought, why not try take some photos as well? But now we're just gonna pretty much pack everything up and leave. And in the car, I'm gonna actually show you how I planned all of these videos, just so we can be really, really efficient with today's shoot, not lose any time, not lose any energy, and we just know exactly what we have to do when. All right, so we're just in a car now on the way to the studio. And what I thought I would do is show you exactly how I've planned this shoot. Like, I would never really not, I would never normally go into this much detail for planning, but because we're trying to film so many videos in one day, we wanna be as efficient as possible. So the first thing I did was I planned all of the videos in Asana. So I use Asana for all of my project management. So basically I've got this template that I use in my workflow and I just, um, I've got no internet, but basically I just copied and pasted that and planned out all of the videos that I wanted to film. And then ultimately what I did was go into my Google Drive and I planned out with a rough script all of the videos that I wanted to do. So ultimately I just like had this script outline which had the introduction and the closing. And then I put in the core information. As you said, like this is a video, this is all I would do. I never write a full script out because I don't like that. I like everything to be very authentic and raw, but I always give myself dot points. You know, even if I am just filming a video at home, sitting down and talking, I'll give myself dot points just because I tend to waffle and I want to stay on track. So then what I did was I put together this run sheet, which ultimately just has a little table. Um, hopefully you can see that with 
all of the videos, so in, in order of what we're gonna film them, the video title, whether it's got B-roll or not, and that's more for George in post, he'll know whether he has to do title cards or B-roll, and then the outfit that's going with each, um, with each of those. So you can't really see them because I ran out of black ink, but I know which top is which one. So that means just like, as soon as I know when I get in there, I need to put on the Dalmatian print dress. And we're gonna be filming Why Costs Suck and all of the scripts I've actually printed out and they are all in order as well. Um, it's gonna be really efficient. It's gonna be really, really smooth. We're gonna try to get through as many videos as possible. Ultimately, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try film a video, take the thumbnail, take some photos in the outfit because why not use it, you know, for photos as I just said before, then I'll get changed as George like sets resets up and then we'll go on and film another video. Hopefully we can get through about five, we'll take a little break and have lunch and then hopefully get through another five in the afternoon. Sorry about this lighting, it is really horrible, but yeah, that's what we're doing. So we just got to the filming space and we're just fiddling around with the set. Pretty much what we've done is having this. So these are actually some things we've bought from home and this tree was already here. Um, this place is really, really, really cute. It's got a few little props and stuff. Here's George setting up the camera. Um, we're also gonna take some photos as well between each shot, so that'll be heaps of fun. But yeah, now the filming begins. Thanks okay. for, for a like, document, documentary like in Raw. Yeah, but I'm gonna like fix it. Like David Attenborough or something. Mate, look at you with your fucking camera. You are David Attenborough, if anything. Anyway, guys, before George rudely interrupts me with his BBC nonsense, I was just about to say, so we've just filmed two videos, which is really good. It's going really well so far. Just honestly having this plan of like knowing exactly what top I need to wear, exactly what script I need to grab, it's just been so helpful. This is not something I've ever really done before, so I would definitely recommend like putting together some plan like this if you're wanting to batch create your content. But now we're up to video three, feeling really good, energy is good, gonna get some lunch soon, and then just plow through to hopefully number 10. Okay, so I'm gonna vlog with George, ready? Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Where are you? Hi. <laughs> George is six foot four. Ah! George is six foot four and I am five foot four. So he's a whole three, foot three. Three foot four? I'm five foot four. Yeah. Anyway, we just um, so we wrapped up video number five and we've just ordered some Uber Eats from one of my favorite places, Veggie Bar. I love this place so much. I like literally go there by myself because I love it so much. But I didn't get the meal that I normally like. I normally get this thing called Mostly Greens, which is like tempeh, green stir fry, but I thought if I have a big heavy meal, I'm gonna be like, oh, food coma, and like laying on the ground, so. Uh -huh. Oh, food coma. <laughs> anyway, so I ended up getting a tofu wrap, but it's, what did you get? Uh, big green. Yummy green, we made a little bit of a mess, but we've taken such nice photos. Actually, where's the camera? I'm gonna like show you some of the photos. I don't know if you can see them, but I mean, that was one for a thumbnail, so. But literally, like, the lighting in here is so nice. These are just a few photos. Okay, I don't know so what they are. Well, I just want to, like, show them as many as possible. Anyway, I just think they're really, really, really cute. And this lighting is just incredible. So anyway, you guys can expect to see those on my Instagram. Really? Yum! Oh yeah, I need to lock it. By the way, this is like the coolest thing, this lock. You lock it with your phone. Yum, food, 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 food. Oh, green juice. Oh wow, that's a very cool little compartment. Green juice as well. Just a plastic bag. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, it's packed really nicely. Sometimes you get your Uber Eats and it's like packed like absolute crap. I think they've given me a fork. There'll be a fork somewhere. There's not, is there? We'll go figure one out. All right guys, so we are officially just ticked off video eight, which means we have two videos to go. I'm not going to lie, um, my energy is dwindling a little bit because obviously I've been talking a lot. Uh, I was like, oh, you know, the time is actually only 1.25. We've got the space till 5.30. And I was, uh, excuse me, I was like, 
oh, we should have just done 20 videos, but honestly, I don't know if I could do that much in one day. I'm really starting to get a little tired. I kind of want a rosé, but I also really just want to lie down. But anyway, it's been so, 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 so productive so far. We've got George behind the camera. He's currently taking some photos of me. Um, we've got some really, really beautiful photos as well, which I'm so excited for, but I don't know. I hope you've been enjoying following along with the little vlog from today. And let's smash this. in one day and guys okay so what time did we start filming george 10 25 so 10 25 and it's now two so what's that four and a half hours three and a half hours yeah. i just filmed 10 videos because yeah. i'm not a fucking mathematician as well but three and a half see all it did was take us three and a half hours i know i've been doing this a long time but if you're saying i can't do youtube i don't have enough time i just hope this video is proof to you that you know, you can get it done. You've just got to be organized. You've just got to talk about things that you're passionate about. You can get 10 videos done in a couple of hours and that is going to give you over two months worth of content. So guys, no excuses. There's no excuses to say you can't do YouTube. It's as simple as that. I mean, obviously I'm super tired now. I'm ready for a wine, but you know, we got it done. So anyway, yeah, let's get taking a look at this. I thought about staying home, but I have been So George and I are officially home. We've just been editing some of the photos. They look so amazing. I'm so happy with how today went. But now I'm all dressed up in this cute little dress and we are going to go out for a drink and out for dinner because we have no food in the house. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it inspired you that even if you feel like you don't have enough time, you can still just spend a couple of hours, a couple of times every few months and you can create some awesome content for YouTube. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.